We are going to begin with Hurricane Hillary barreling toward the coast of Southern California, leading to the state's first ever tropical storm warning. Right now, the Baja Peninsula, including popular Cabo San Lucas, is bracing for heavy rain and powerful winds. And that's as parts of Southern California are at extreme risk, high risk for extreme rainfall, which could cause flash flooding, even mudslides. ABC's Zareen Shaw joins us live from Los Angeles with how people are preparing for the major storm headed their way. Zareen, good morning. Janae, nearly every single person I've spoken to here is very nervous about the next couple days. This is the first ever tropical storm warning issued for California. And if Hillary reaches here as a tropical storm, our weather team says it is going to be the first in the state in more than 25 years. The monster category for hurricane is currently spinning more than 200 miles off the coast of Mexico with 130 mile per hour winds. As it gets closer, heavy rains can bring the threat of life-threatening flash flooding, mudslides, and debris flow. And there is a lot of prep already underway. People who live in communities that don't even flood are getting sandbags ready to go to divert water. In just the last couple of weeks, we saw some hillside homes collapse, and there's a real fear that could happen again. Earlier this year, the area was pummeled by atmospheric river storms, and while that same area is under threat again, the heaviest rain is forecast more inland in the deserts, where the National Weather Service says some areas could see their annual rainfall in just 48 hours, and some parts could get up to 10 inches of rain. One of those places is Joshua Tree National Park. That's about two hours east of Los Angeles, and it's going to be closed for the next day as they assess conditions. And the forecast even has an impact on sports. The Dodgers, the Angels, the Padres are all canceling their games tomorrow. They will all be doubleheaders today. Janae. Zoreen, thank you. We know even a little bit of rain has the potential to cripple parts of Southern California, so we'll be watching that. Now let's bring in Samara, who's in Jersey City with the latest on Hurricane Hillary's track. Good morning, Samara. Good morning, Janae. Overnight, no real changes to Hurricane Hillary's track. It's still a Category 4 hurricane anticipated to make landfall in Mexico and drive into Southern California as a tropical storm as we move into Sunday evening and then into Monday morning. But let's talk impacts. Now, while Los Angeles will see some flooding, the brunt of this will be in the desert. To really put this into perspective, I want you to picture a large tub of water falling on a wood floor as opposed to carpet. With such a low absorption rate and torrential rain, it's a bad combination for the desert. Now, flooding will be extreme. The farther east you go. And there's a possibility for mudslides, landslides, and even a few spin-up tornadoes. I'm very concerned about areas like Palm Springs as well. Meanwhile, there is an absence of rain north of California in Washington, and wildfires are raging there east of Spokane, Washington. The Gray Fire has prompted evacuations and dense smoke. Geo? All right, Samara, we know you'll be tracking it all. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.